Hey everybody, this is Lucas here, and welcome back to Monster My Galaxy. So last time, we just defeated Bowser, and now guys, we are gonna do, we're gonna go to Rosalina's library and read a storybook, and Kim so you the batteries, so this is just gonna be a quick little video. Let us begin. Let us begin indeed, Rosalina. Right. Chapter 1, The Celestial Duel. Our story begins a very, very long time ago with a young girl. One day, this girl spotted a rusted starship holding a small star child. What's your name? Are you lost? The girl asked the star child. Hi, I'm Mama. Come here, waiting for Mama. She's coming for me in a comet, said the star child, with a meeting day of nights. <coughs> At nightfall, the little girl borrowed her father's telescope and peered into the sky. She looked and looked, but she saw nothing. Hours turned into days and then years, but still the sky revealed nothing. Finally, the little girl sighed and said to her mom, The way so you look in much longer, I'll be an old lady soon. <laughs> That's a funny phrase. But then she had an idea. Why don't we go out? Why don't we go out there and find your mother ourselves? <clears throat> the girl and Aluma fixed up the rusty starship, and then the two set sail into the starry sky. And this is how the search for his celestial mother. Began. Chapter two: Starlets. Days passed with no sight of the comet, or even a single planet. Instead, asteroids extended far as far as the eye could see. If I had known it was going to take this long, I would have packed more jam, said the little girl about the rumble of the valley. <laughs> Before they left, she had packed all the essentials. A telescope, butterfly nets, stuffed bunny, bread, milk, jam, and apricot flavored tea. But... Ah, I forgot to be in water! At this, Luma burst into Gale's laughter and the girl began to pout. As long as I have starbits, I'll be fine! said Luma. What's him? The little girl couldn't stay mad after doing this. Luma continued to laugh and the girl couldn't help but join in. Just Leaning out, leaning far out of the, sh of the ship, the pair began to collect star bits with the girls' nets. They almost fell out a few times, but they kept on collecting. The star bits tasted like honey. Thanks to thanks for telling us, I guess. Anyways, chapter three, the comments. <coughs> beam of light pierced through the ship's window, thinking it was the morning sun. The pier, I mean the girl, peered through the window, only to find a turquoise blue comet showing at her. The little girl shook the sleeping Luma awake and shouted excitedly, Where's the end of the <coughs> Excuse me. The pair descended on the comets and found that it was made of ice. They looked high and low, but Luma's mother was nowhere to be found. Exhausted, little girl sat down at the flop, utterly unable to take another step. Look! Peering down the icy ground when, Lu when the Luma was pointing, the girl suddenly noticed clusters of star bits encased in the ice. <laughs> Excuse me. Pretty good, huh? Finding star bits is my specialty, said Luma beaming. There's ice here, but it's too, but it's so warm. I bet there's water here too. The two decided to stay for on the comet for a while. <coughs> Biting the turquoise comet, the pair continued to search for Luma's mother. Chapter four: The Dream. <coughs> One night, the girl dreamed about her own mother. Where are you going? She asked her mother's intruding back. 
Dr. Tooney, the mother replied. Todd Foot, dearest, I'm not going anywhere. We're always watching over you like the sun in the day and the moon in the night. <clears throat> a wave of silence watched over the girl. What about when it rains and I can't see the sun or the moon? The mother thought for a moment before responding. I want all the time to turn the clouds away for your tears to dry. When she awoke, the girl's face was damp with tears. You have, you have starlets in your eyes, said Puma to the girl. Wiping her face, the girl replied, These are tears, not starlets. I'm crying because I never see my mother again. At this, the girl began to cry too. Mama, oh, mama, where? <clears throat> The pair traveled through the starry skies and though they encountered many other comets. Not one of them held Puma's mother. Puma was despondent. Now, Alma, the rain clouds won't go away if they keep if they keep flying. The girl said, giving him a squeeze. I can't be pressed if you stop. The girl closed her eyes and said gently, I'll take care of you. With these words, she felt a small spark in her heart. Chapter 5 Cold. I guess I would go here and the library go over there. The girl said easily, easily to herself. What about the gate here? Ever since the girl took Luma under her care, she'd been bustling about at a feverish place at a pace. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it to make a happy home. It turned out that Starbits weren't the only things buried in the ice. They were tools and furniture unlike any they had ever seen. The girl used them to build a home. Looking at the completed house, the movie marked, Don't you think it's awfully big for just the two of us? The library, bedroom, kitchen, fountain, the gates. It was certainly spacious, but still, something seemed to be missing. If only my father, brother, and mother were here, the girl said wistfully. Indeed, the house was too large for its too small residence. <clears throat> that night, clutching her favorite stuffed bunny close to her heart, the girl fell asleep in the starship. Chapter 6 Friends <clears throat> Then one day, while the girl sat sipping tea, a tiny avocado colored planet appeared on the horizon. From the planet, another loom of the same color emerged. Do you two know each other? The girl asked the two of us gleefully. Despite the girl's excitement, they seemed really uneasy. <clears throat> the two of us neither drew closer nor backed away from each other. Instead, he just stared. Then one of them broke the silence. My mama! At once, the avocado woman appeared back. My mama! My mama! My mama! My mama! My mama. and neither showed any sign of stopping. The girl was so drawn by this adorable scene that she couldn't help but laugh. And that's when something very strange happens. Suddenly more lumas began to pop out from the Avocado planet. They were different colors, but they all shouted the same thing. My mama, my mama! The sight of all the shouting lumas only made the girl laugh harder. What am I going to do with all these children? I guess Papa Dave each and every one of you. Tomorrow, when she had finished taming them all, she would begin moving all the Lumas into the new house. Chapter 7 The Telescope. <clears throat> After seeing the 100th comet, a sudden thought popped into the girl's head. I wonder if my own plan is still as blue as it was. <clears throat> That's when she remembered her father's telescope. Speaking to the telescope, a tiny blue dot fell into sight. It was smaller than a star bit. It was so strange! So far away, but it feels so close! <clears throat> she twisted a knob in the telescope, and the blue dot grew until she could make out a grass hill dotted with flowers. This seemed very familiar. Zooming even closer, a Terrence on a hill came into view. Why is it a star 
Why is he there when I left my home planet? <clears throat> she remembered bumping to sleep. I mean to sleep out of her eyes as she followed her father up that hill to look at the stars. She remembered how she and her brother would slide down that, down that hill. She remembered having picnics with her mother on that hill on bright and windy days. And... I wanna, I wanna go home, I wanna go home right now! The girl burst into tears, and Luma's didn't know what to do. I wanna go home, I wanna go back to my brother's brother, I wanna see my... <coughs> I wanna see my mother! The girl was shouting now, her face wet with tears. I know she's not there, I know a lot that she wasn't out there in the sky, because... Because... <coughs> She's sleeping under the tree on the hill! The girl cries echoed through the stars and a hush fell over the area. Chapter 8 The Witch. Though usually quite cheery, one day the girl became sad again. Duma drew close and tried to comfort her. Mama, you still have me! And don't be sad about your mama because she's a part of you! That means she's always close by. It's like... It's like me! I'm not... S <coughs> I'm not <coughs> sorry, it's because they, have, they remind me of my mama. I don't know. I'll say, the girl said, unable to stop the tears. The only look flickered across Luna's face, but it was soon replaced by a white grin. I have an idea. I'm just going to talk. How much I'm just going to do a I'm sorry. 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 I'm Trailing bands of white soared high into the sky and just as quickly started to plummet back down. Kaboom! Kablam! The ground shook and a bright light poured out of the crater that the Luma had created. <clears throat> the bands of light twisted together to form a comet tail. Then Luma emerged to be born as a comet. The girl could scarcely believe her eyes. Wow! She kept that. <coughs> she kept asking. Our oh, destiny is the monsters are transforming into human beings. He said to be a little more loose and maybe it. Stars, comets, planets, we can become wrong with these things. When they go up and they become a star, it makes someone special smile. Said a green luma. <coughs> a blue luma. A blue luma chimed in. That luma turned into a real kitty in a comet, didn't he? Day on, star bits no longer fell from the girl's eyes. The comet set forth for the girl's home planet, its long tail blazing proudly behind it. Final chapter Family. This is the last chapter, guys. Hope you guys have been paying attention. With its many lumens and telescopes, the comet was quite a sight to behold. The girl and the Lumas were proud to call it home. At a welcoming party for a new Luma, the girl gathered everyone in the kitchen and said aloud a voice than usual. Hello right, everyone, let's make a cake! A cake, a, a cake spike what stop it? That'll be a stomach cake! <coughs> Why can't I do a girl voice right? The Lumas excitedly began to gather the ingredients. <coughs> She watched Luma scurry about. The girl smiled and thought to herself, This is my family now, and I will stay with it. And I was. That girl was starting to affect my throat. This is my family now, and I will stay with them until I'm ready to leave the nest. And when I do leave, I'll see them off with a smile. Because that's what.
don't speak that because that because that's what makes a home a mother happy. That night, when the girl lay down to sleep, a soft light enveloped her and reminded her of the blue planet that she once called home. Put it on me nice to return home once every one hundred years to have a very favorite sleep nook. It's said that the comet visits the girl's home, home planet every once every hundred years. Its proud white tail glittering in the sky. Anyways, thank you all for watching this little extra episode of Super Mario Galaxy. Again, this Let's Play has been really fun to play, but it's but we have to move on, guys, to a new playthrough. So my next, again, my next Mario playthrough is going to be on Super Mario Galaxy 2, and my next actual Let's Play is going to be on Sonic Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. So yeah, guys, hope you all are looking forward to those games and. I'll see you guys when I play Sonic Adventure 2. Bye.